Most men in America who've been working in business for some time to provide for their families in a way that is right in time know how to interact with other people within their typical constituency. What that means is we tend to interact with people who are a part of our normal demographics, people that are part of our regular community, people we're accustomed to seeing at networking events, people we're used to being around because they go to our church, or people that are a part of our business groups that are supposed to be about helping us to grow. The reality is that there are some people who venture further than that and they go to other type of organizations for the industry, for their career, etc. so they can meet people, greet people, and get to know more people. Most of us know how to exchange a business card, know when to do it and when not to do it. It's also not polite to not give a card it is sort of true, but it just depends on the situation and I can tell you more about that. Life in America is about networking and networking requires, unfortunately and fortunately, social media channels. But there are people, bastards of Satan is what I usually call them, black-souled people, meaning that their souls are not filled with the light of the Lord, who are so busy and so hellbent on ruining someone else's life that they don't spend the time at all focusing on building their own life. The foolishness of men who are still walking, and honestly, they physically walk like a baby. They physically walk like a little boy. They haven't figured out how to stand erect like a gentleman or a man to do anything in life are the ones that are usually the game players and are still hanging out with the boys at the gaming shop. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having a hobby. But at some point you have to decide, is that money I'm investing in my hobby with all these extra board games and D&D &D games and, and all the things of, of the late 80s and 90s that are coming through, are they really helping you to build the life for you? Even me, I've had to give up the love, my love of cinema. No offense, but in my youth, in my early 20s when I lived in a town that had absolutely nothing to do, I consumed a lot of film. I definitely was a Netflix player, but the reality is there are certain things in life that are much more important than being that sort of a player. I am a soothsayer. I do know how to rebuke people. I do know how to nail people. And I can read people to the floor if they open their heart, their mind, and their soul to the Lord. But if you're not willing to do that, then please don't ask me because God may try it through me and it's not fun for me. But if God is talking to you, don't you think you ought to take notes? Because no offense, little guy, no offense, little girl, you're obviously not doing things right. Because if you were, you'd be making more money. If you were, you'd be a lot more happy. If you were, you'd be a lot more satisfied. And if you were, you wouldn't be trying to harm me or anyone in your life.